Yo, hey, listen up, y'all. There is no more iconic dinosaur than Tyrannosaurus Rex, and this is the largest natural history museum in the world, and one would expect there to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex here, and now there is. T-Rex pulled into the loading dock early in the morning and was met by the same group of people that sent it off from Bozeman and Montana. We had conservators from the Army of War, conservators from the Museum of the Rockies, and conservators from the National Museum of Natural History. After a drive across the country, there was tremendous excitement in Washington, D.C. as the truck pulled into the loading dock, and we had lots of media there awaiting the arrival of the truck. I can assure you I breathed a sigh of relief when I saw that truck pulling in and knowing that the truck had a safe trip across the country. For me, Tuesday was uh, kind of a Christmas morning day. Um, I'm the dinosaur paleontologist at the Natural History Museum, but even for me, it's a pretty rare event that someone delivers a T-Rex skeleton to your door. Um, and also the fact that, of course, we get to begin the process of making this the very public specimen that it's going to be permanently uh, displayed in the hall. Interestingly enough, this was probably the most painless way to obtain a T-Rex that you could imagine. Uh, it had been already collected by the Museum of the Rockies and already curated, and so it's already been very well catered for. So for us, the real task was to make sure it could get here safely and turn it into something that can stand on its own and be the centerpiece of the new exhibit. Once the boxes are unloaded from the truck, each box is open and carefully checked to make sure that the bones are in the same condition when they arrived as they were when they left Montana. There are lots and lots of Tyrannosaurus rex fossils, but most of them are individual bones or partial skeletons or a few bones. This Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton is quite complete, about 85% of the body, including parts of the skull, the entire body, the legs, including the arms. What it's missing mainly are some ribs and part of the tail. We actually know more about Tyrannosaurus rex than we do about almost any other dinosaur species on Earth. Um, and this specimen is actually an incredibly well-studied specimen. Because this T-Rex is nearly complete, there's a lot of opportunities for learning new things about the animal. On April 15th, we unveiled the T-Rex in the museum's rotunda in front of a large media crew and uh, members of the museum staff. For a few months after the arrival of the T-Rex, the bones will be located in what we're calling the Rex Room. That's a space where the crates are located and where one by one we will unpack the bones and scan them using 3D laser scanners. At the National Museum of Natural History, we see over 7 million visitors a year. This 50-year loan means that more than 350 million people have an opportunity to see this Tyrannosaurus Rex on display on the Mall in Washington, D.C. As the director of the museum, I now feel complete. No museum is complete. Pay your respect to the national race Smithsonian's getting ready to crown The king of dinosaurs and he's coming to town Oh yeah! Pay respect! Whoa.